Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loren. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, Young K sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. This place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions! To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Not much of an improvement. Ugh, 
Don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, <laughs> it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? Oh, shit. Intrusion! Who dares? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. You, the one with the dire need of a haircut! What have you done to my remains? Well, apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted, my remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How are you doing? I... what? Don't go what on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... That a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. Desideratus of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier and, you know, smarter. And ashes stuff? Big no no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Lauren's are proud folk. And this. this. Oh, oh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring, uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes, and I appreciate the offer, I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But that must... Wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ugh, kids these days! Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. What? We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. 
Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude. To demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You are not supposed to be here. Well, I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why not? No, it got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt you see is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Ah! Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm the- Please, we are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man, of sorts. Your title still has hold in rash till people respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have, rebuild this city of yours, revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but. Not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <coughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable, but this is a chance now, one surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. 
The accord has been reached. Nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> Funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crucy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Ah, oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, you'll need me, oh yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. Bloody shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Eh, uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool! The gnomes? But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it! Them business-savvy midgets! They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck! That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. 
Unless you want to be a king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks guys. <laughs> Uh. Oh, for the love of... Let's go! What is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. Uh, what? Uh, okay. What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check. A direction, so to speak, which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And, as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed, it does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere, plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordemar's knights like it gaudy. Lordemar? The kingdom of Lordemar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordemarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it? If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Hey, you're back! How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Ho <laughs> ho but it's more than that! You can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, 
Lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him? Oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho ho, but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field, should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. Oh, my boy, one cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people. Ah, at last. The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. Uh, yeah. What he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Hmm. Gods, Griffith. You just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait. I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith, you win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <clears throat> Are you the owner of this inn? <clears throat> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... <clears throat> will, uh, be rebuilding, um, 
Please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? <laughs> Come on, give me something to work with. <laughs> uh, pretty please? <laughs> oh, for the love of... I don't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, I don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi! Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder... Heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshito, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah, indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Baz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! <laughs> what manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Huh. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now, I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? Oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories! Right, Papa? <sighs> On my honor! Well then, good luck, laddie! Happy hunting! I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your... Eh... Uh, non-demise. Uh, now wait a minute.
So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... It happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You were saying? On second thought. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so, by your choosing. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, Many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast? Yes. And this search brought you here? Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so, if that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import, to her at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. 
No, I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The Predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this'll take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. Yes, yes.
Hmm? Uh, another miss. Licked clean. Bad ram. Why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al-Andorans. Purveyor of goods most wondrous. Wandering merchant supreme. And uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you'd pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well. Things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. This is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, joy. Your tasks will be... Thank you. 
the hell? Guys? Guys! Oh my. Guys! Guys! Guys? Guys! Caravans? 
I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess. And persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant, trying to make a living. See? You didn't say honest. Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sample is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Ow, ow, ow! Are you alright? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast, and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The girl! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges! What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. I, I, my vase! You violated my vase! <sighs> I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. All the way from Minway? That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my vase. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal, if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will.
What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Let's go! Guys? Guys!
Guys? Guys! Let's go! Guys! 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 Call for me, dearie? Mm, yeah. I could seriously use some help here. Ah, uh, not like I have anything to do. Shoot. Well, 
we still haven't sorted out all the family paperwork. See this? Gwen tells me it's some kind of ancient script. Maybe even magical. And I thought, you know, you're ancient, right? Do you know anything about this kind of writing? Ancient? Really, my girl, you wound me. Well, at least metaphorically speaking. Ta-ta! Did I mention that I'm hurt? Ah? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply you're old, even though, um, you are. Ah, when my age you reach, you'll learn that the subtle distinction between old and really goddamn old becomes extremely important. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> funny thing, that. It seems there's someone inside already. <laughs> what are we talking about again? What do you mean there's someone inside? A spirit, but... Not like me. It's cold, distant, asleep in this shell of an armor. It shouldn't be there. But there we go. Sometimes, if the will is strong enough, the dead may remain behind. And there it is. It slumbers. But I can reach out and tug at its essence, stir it once more, help it awaken. Please do. Here he comes. Did it work? Where am I? What is this sensation? Are these my hands? But I should be dead. I am dead. Am I? I refuse to die once. It's all so blurry. Why? Where am I? Um, are you alright? You. Who are you? Where am I? Explain this strangeness! Hm. You're one to talk. Ghost. Yes, now it makes sense. Be gone, foul undead! You will not sway me! Oh my! He's adjusting really well, don't you think? Um... Hello? Is everything alright? Am I dead? Eh? Of course you are, just like me! The only difference being that, for some reason, you're inseparable from that golden tin can of yours. Don't know why. What manner of cruel joke is this? Is this your doing, ghost? Ah, <sighs> dead, death, what's the difference? They have trickery as a foot. Not really. We found this armor locked in the basement of our castle. Grandpa said your spirit was bound inside. Castle? Yes, sir. Escalia. In the Rash Till Expanse. Preposterous! That's impossible! What the what now? So you don't know why you ended up there? Come now, Mr. Knight. Please don't be like that. We're just trying to help. You seek to coddle me, insolent child. I am Lord Azalius Castel Levant of Lordemar, and you will show proper respect. But... <laughs> Such a spirited ex-individual. I've had enough of your blatant mockery, Spectre. I will cleanse this place. No, you won't. I will. Falters. What? What is this sorcery? Explain thyself. Ha <laughs> ha. I made you move. Now I can make you stop. Do not overstay your welcome, Sonny. Can't we all just get along? Sure. Do that in your spare time. For now, I'm going to lock this upstanding fella in the basement. Let young Kay sort it out. All right, Goldie. Right, left, right, left. Leave me be, wretched ghost! I command you to...
Hey there, what can I get you? Uh, just some tea, please. Sure thing, give me a sec. Hmm, I sure could use some rest and recreation. Peace, quiet, just what I needed. Ah, yeah. Oh, a new face! What can I get you? Wait, is that a dog? Is he wearing a tutu? Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Oh! <gasps> he's cute! So magnificent! I found it! After years of searching, the perfect place to set up my workshop. A place where style, dogs, and stylish dogs are truly appreciated. Oh, the blessed day! The hot magma burns with everlasting flames! Um, is everything okay? It could not be better, kind and handsome stranger. Handsome? But where are my manners? My name is Gunther. Well, young man, will you shake my hand as befitting the manly men that we are? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Kay. <laughs> oh, uh, didn't notice you. Good dog, good dog. <laughs> That's Heinrich. Isn't he the biggest, cutest bundle of joy? Aren't you, Heinrich? <laughs> He doesn't look particularly happy about his getup. Nonsense! Heinrich and I have been together since forever. I know his moods better than anyone. We're artists of metal, looking for new inspirations for our trade. Our homeland is sadly a bit dull in that area. Artists of metal? So you're a blacksmith? I prefer to think of myself as a creator first, and a craftsman second, good sir. Incidentally, the Fraulein over here has convinced me that this is the place. The city where we will be able to enjoy life's finer aspects at last. Fra what? Is that some kind of food? Unbridled creativity! Great minds bending raw materials to their wills! Isn't it exhilarating? Uh, okay. Well, it just so happens that I'm the ruler of this city. We could certainly use a skilled blacksmith. You? Oh, magnificent! Handsome and influential! <laughs> but if we're to channel our hot passions onto cold steel, we're going to need a decent smithy. Can you arrange that, good sir? Leave it to me. Excellent! <laughs> then we'll stay here until this house of splendors is completed. Oh, I can promise you right now, you're going to have the most wondrous equipment in all of the realms. <laughs> Isn't that right, Heinrich? <laughs> What can I get you? Work, work, work! Hey there! Sure. What can I get you? Yes, sir! Uh... 
Huh? Hey there. Hello. I've been told that you wanted to speak with me? Those two blondies brought you up to speed, huh? They're my sisters. Yes, I thought as much. But let's cut to the chase. I'm Alice. I was probably born in Shadu, but it's hard to tell with people like me, as dumb as it sounds. I don't tend to dwell on it, nor do I care. I travel a lot, mostly, and voluntarily. I guess I'm kind of sorta on the run right now. But if there's one thing you should trust about me, it's that I'm not a criminal. Instead... Hold on. What did you mean, people like me? Ah, uh, well, I was getting to that. I was hoping to butter you up before we got to the subject. See, I'm a kindling. <sighs> yeah, this is your cue to scream. Oh, uh, what now? Huh? You don't know? Well then... Basically, she's a natural-born wizard. Normally, magic requires years of practice, discipline, and effort. But every once in a while, a person may be born with a gift. They wield magic like they breathe, spontaneously. Why have you been eavesdropping? Point is, kindlings get a bad rap, and it's not hard to see why. They're like a sugar-crazed kid with a razor. All the power, none of the limitations. There's plenty of room for things to go wrong. Wow, graphic. I see you've done your research, Miss Pissy. Would you just stop calling me that? At least I don't dress like a cheap stripper. Why, you spoiled little... All right, ladies, let's all take a deep breath here and... Scratch pad. Push up. Circus freak. Aw, oh, you know that last one was weak as shit... Uh, uh, ahem, <clears throat> ladies, would you please just calm the hell down? Let's go back to that part about you being drunk with unlimited power. That sounds troublesome. I can't speak for other kindlings or whatever they choose to call themselves. The way I see it, it's just a big, dumb label that attracts way too many kooks. Hell, I spent half my life running away from kooks. And I'm tired. I need a breather. Place to kick back for a while and not worry about crazies trying to scout me for no sane reason. That's not criminal, is it? Ah, you want shelter then? That's what I said, yeah. Gwen? Sure, let's invite a literal living bomb under our roof. After all, we already have a canned dead guy and a naked bushwoman. Might as well complete the collection. You're mocking me. No. Uh, I'll have to take a leap of faith here, won't I? Well, it'd certainly be considerably easier to just burn you all. But surely you can see how that wouldn't necessarily turn out to be the wisest choice? Don't you worry. I'm used to having to earn one's trust. I take it I don't need to ask whether you can defend yourself. If I focus hard enough, I can make your head explode. I'll take it as a yes. Well, that's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Lady Alice. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I think I saw a bearded woman around the corner. Oh, Gwen. I apologize for her. Nah, don't sweat it. She'd grouch herself to death without someone like me. Let's go.
This is the guy? Yeah, though he seems to have calmed down by now. Who dares? Well, scratch that. The insolent girl returns to torment me once more. Where's your spectral underling, child? If you think you were right, he is crazy. Be careful, Kay. What is this, another child? Come to mock me about my confinement, boy. I'm Kay of House Lauren. As confusing as it sounds, somehow you ended up holed in my basement, and I'd like to know why. You would presume to command me. What authority do you wield? Uh, well, I'm the lord of these lands, and this castle. Words. I don't want to bicker. Surely you can agree that this is totally unexpected for both parties. Can we help each other out? Hmm. You know, Kay, maybe we should... You know the ghost from before? <laughs> That's my grandfather, and I could ask him to do something to coerce you. Say, how do you feel about song and dance? Maybe a funny skit in front of a large audience? You wouldn't. Try me. <laughs> this is outrageous! Do you expect me to suffer all that belittlement without retribution? Son and dance. Ugh. Ugh, bully, to make me choose between my principles and my dignity. I just want to know what's your deal. Tell me what I need to know, and we'll forget about the whole thing. Very well. My name is Azalius Castor Levant. Know that I am, was, a member of the Knight's Aurum of Lordemar. As you can see, I am not quite dead, stuck in a condition that I find infuriating. Beyond that, there is little I could tell you. It seems I may have been slumbering for quite a long time. Yes, about that. How did you end up here? I remember an order. An order? I was told to keep watch. Hold this spot. Do not budge until you are told otherwise. So I did. But where? Who said that? Hmm. Wait, you don't mean to tell me. That order was never revoked. I can't tell whether that's really tragic or really dumb. But what made you return? What made you cling to the world of the living? Maybe he was just too stubborn to die. What? I'm not kidding. Grandpa mentioned that spirits tend to linger if their resolve is strong enough. Or they... So you think he had a very strong reason to keep going? I don't know, but it seems possible, right? Maybe a personal oath of some kind. Does any of this make sense to you, Mr. Knight? If you must know, it is not uncommon for Knights of Lordemar to swear oaths and vows. And sure enough, I had my vow, yes. Tis a poor will that never faces contest, but to think it would bar my passage! Alack the heavy day! What was it? And why would I tell a mewling scallion like you? There he goes again. All right, enough. We get it. You don't want to talk. I'm sorry about your condition, and I wish you all the best. You're free to go. Wait. One more thing. What year is it? According to the Inixonian calendar, 1107. <sighs> is he all right? I don't know. Maybe we should poke him with a stick? Four centuries. It has been four centuries. I never wish to remain in that world, nor do I wish to do so now. Yet here I am, a stranger in a strange land. Everything's changed. Everyone. Such a cursed fate to befall a man. 
<sighs> Dark. What? Just what am I supposed to say to that? This guy's got issues. Gee, way to be empathetic, big bro. Not... Uh, uh, well, y you know, times may have changed, but Lordemar has stayed untouched. You can still go home. After all, there's nothing keeping you here, right? Go and fulfill your oath, whatever it may entail. Look, I feel for you, but... Yes, I shall fulfill my oath. For that purpose, I now pledge myself to you, Kay of House Lauren, for the time being. Wait, what? Indeed, but make no mistake. In all things, I serve the Morning Crown first and foremost. Tis merely an alliance of convenience, nothing more. I shall so state your wishes, for now. I feel like this discussion has just skipped a logical step or two. Yeah. How do we go from righteous outrage to him forcing his way into our ranks? Ask him. I bet there's a cool reason behind it all. What if he attacks me? He doesn't seem like the patient sort. Hmm. Could happen. We must rethink our strategy. I am standing right here, you know. Hello there. Okay. Hey there. Huh? 
Huh? I'm gonna need a frickin' drink. What can I get you? Work, work, work. The duckling approaches me. Uh, got a second, Signy? I have some stuff I'd like to run by you. Certainly. <laughs> huh? Is something wrong? Excuse me for a moment. What the hell? A woman? Sneaky little marlin, an unconventional prey, one so bold to hide in the den of predators. Hello to you too, Signy. You know my name? Naturally. After all, you're the famed Beast of Rashdil, no? That's what the locals used to call you anyway. And you're Sir Kay of House Lauren, no doubt. The current Lord of Escalia. You sure know a lot. Who are you? My name is Mirian Arlethine, but please call me Miri. I'm an adventurer and explorer, sometimes writer. Maybe you've heard of my work? No? Well, doesn't matter. Basically, I go where other people don't want to go. To see it with my own eyes and write about it. The world is too awesome to be afraid if you ask me. Really? Is there a name for such a line of work? I don't know. I like to call myself a Pathfinder. Right. Okay. It's all fine and well, but there's still something you have to explain first. You mean the whole hide-and-seek shenanigans? Yes, I'm sorry about that. See, I came to Rashdil upon hearing rumors of the fabled beasts. Grandiose rumors, mind you. I thought to myself, why not see it with my own eyes? What if I managed to track it, study it, perhaps even reach an understanding? Wouldn't it make a fascinating discovery? Imagine my surprise when the beast turned out to be... Well, you know... You and me both. <laughs> make no mistake, this was well worth the effort. Even if it wasn't what I expected. We barely know anything about the Dead West or the Kelra, their lives, customs... 
Essentially, it became a perfect opportunity to delve a little bit deeper. Are you saying you've been stalking her? I, uh, well... Choose your next words wisely, Martin. Anyway, it's a fascinating field of study. An untouched culture. Isn't that exciting? I guess. So, what do you think? Is that a yes? Huh? Well, given the wealth of opportunities here, I thought it was obvious. I'd like to move in. Oh, so you're looking to stay in Escalia? For a while, yeah. Even though her migration is not yet complete, a wandering bird would need a feeder, yes? Signy's right. If you want to stay, you can't just monkey around like that. You'll need a proper house. Hmm. Now that I think about it, considering the original source, that's a pretty ironic observation. I won't need much. Just a roof and some extra space to keep the spoils. Though I suppose a warm bed wouldn't hurt. All right, I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, would you consider staying at the placeholder? It's our local inn. Sure thing, Chief. But no stalking. The prey will keep distance, yes? Oh, but of course. I'll be extra careful. You can be sure of that. What can I get you? Work, work, work! What a mess. <laughs> right. Oh, my. Worth getting bad over. Oh, for the love of...
Wait, what? I'm gonna need a frickin' drink. No. <laughs> Thanks. Sounds good. Hey! Hey there! Right!
salutations. Oh, nice. Hey. Sure. The world is just awesome. Huh? Excellent. Thank you. So what have we learned, Ellie? Ahem. <clears throat> Although the debt has increased greatly over extended periods of time, under current evidence, the originator and largest contributor appears to have been Duke Woodrow Lauren. Known to his descendants as Duke Odette, Woodrow the Wastrel and Worthless Woody, his extensive spending habits, lack of financial restraint, and mismatched faith in gambling led to Escalia's then unprecedented financial crisis. Atta girl. Everything seems to be pointing to that one sucker. The first of many a Lauren to make terrible life choices. We don't know that for sure. You said it yourself. The debt got only worse with time, right? Regretfully, that's all we have for now. Which means... Yep. More digging. Guys! Guys!
awesome. I'll get you a mention in the book for this. Hey! <laughs> Okay. Thanks, that's great. Hello, young master. Splendid. Splendid. Great! Ah, excellent! Continue! Alright people, we're past the first deadline, but that won't mean much if we don't pick up the pace. I doubt Crucy is going to remain lenient for long. I see you've been busy with your digging. Don't get your hopes up. There wasn't as much as you'd think. A lot of really important stuff seems to be missing. Presumably destroyed or moved. Quite understandable. It's been a long time, after all. Damn. However, it wasn't an entirely useless ordeal. We may have found a new set of options. Huh? Such as? A whole lot of privileged, pampered, good-for-nothing and name-only kin that would surely jump on the first chance to gnaw on scraps of your newfound title. Basically, she's saying that maybe we should ask some distant relatives for help. That family tree you found made us think. Back in the day, those high noble families used to intermarry, scattering around the world. We're part of the club now, right? What if we had someone like that? And it turns out we do. How distant of a relation are we talking about here? Well, since our records are still vastly incomplete, it's kind of hard to connect all the dots. But it shouldn't be anything too close for comfort. Think of it as a shared web of resources and information. Who knows, maybe Mr. and Mrs. Embretto know something we don't. 
So your shared history will be a leverage. Exactly. So yeah, we'll probably send like a hundred or so letters to random people we've never met asking for their help. That many, huh? Sure, why not? We don't have much to go on. Who knows, maybe it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen anyway? You mean aside from needy cousins moving here to mooch off of you for the rest of your life? <laughs> yeah, that won't happen, right? Sire, if I may. Hey, the door is locked. Don't just stare, Bob. Put your shoulder to it. Ram! Ram! Ow! My arm! Uh, it's open? What is the meaning of this? Who are you people? Aha! So you're the supposed king we've heard so much about, huh? Actually, that, that's me. Wait, you? This young man? I didn't vote for him! He ain't looking like the old king. Of course he doesn't. Do you even remember the old king? Uh, black hair, beard, sandals. That was supposed to be rhetorical, you don't. You weren't even born then. Will you cut it out? This is important. And nope. Still not mingling with peasants. Come on, big bro. At least hear them out. So, um, I'm not sure king is really the right word here. But still, yes, I'm sort of the lord around these parts now. How can I help you? Aha! I imagine he's not the king! Shut your gabber already! My legs hurt! Can we go home? Ahem! <clears throat> My name's Addy, and we are the Unity. Since apparently you are our new liege, it is time to make our presence known. By the people, for the people. We speak as one. Yeah, we want bread! And booze! Oh, I don't take confined space as well. The walls, man, they're closing in. The point is, if you want us to respect your rule, then you have to act like a ruler. We won't let some wannabe lordling just come over and mess up our lives. I don't ever recall seeing you around. You're not from the town, are you? But we could be. Classy scum. Reshatil isn't just the things in your city, you know. There's a whole bunch of outlying homesteads and settlements out there. Not really a nation, true, but people will still look up to you. You're the only big shot left around. The only semblance of government. Which means, technically, that you're still responsible for our well-being. We are your subjects, and we demand proper representation. Yeah, care for us! Booze or bust! Justice for all! Ugh, for the love of... Can't we just cuddle the riffraff and call it a day? Hear that? She frightened us! Help! Help! I'm being oppressed! Easy, boys. I mean, sure, you can. Go ahead. Swing that bat. But let me put it this way. You throw us out, and we'll come back. In numbers. With torches and pitchforks. We treat our rulers very seriously, you see. No free pass for a Lauren. Wait, so you're blackmailing us? This is ridiculous! Do you people expect us to come here, stomp around, and get your way? Our previous king never complained. Oh yeah? Haven't we just talked about how it's impossible for you to know that, you silly unbeg? I read stories. You can't read! Bruh, I know them anyway, I do. My grandpa always used to say that things were gravy when old Robbie ruled. Old Robbie? Oh, yeah, outhouses made of gold, I hear. And a butter churn in every home. Ah, those were glorious times indeed. Well said. Well, lad, why can't you be more like old Duke Robert? Uh... Hmm. Now that you mention it... Give us a moment, will you? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe they're doing a sketch routine? <clears throat> we, the Unity, have decided as follows. It seems clear to us that you are young and likely unfit to rule. We want you to prove your worth to your people. Oh, believe me, if I could. Stand Stand kill! Now, now, the lads raise a good point. 
Your ancestors did a mighty fine job of driving people's trust into the ground. So yeah, if you want to keep warming that throne, prove to us that you're worthy of Duke Robert's lineage, boyo. Stay. We'll be back. Man up and watch your step, or we'll unleash some sweet pitchfork justice. People of the Unity, roll out! That was... something else. Seriously, just how many people are going to make demands? I understand your bewilderment, Lady Gwen. But still, for good or worse, they're our people. Go fight a dragon or something, Griffith. See if I care. Ugh. Gods, I want to punch something so bad right now. I think we've had enough implied violence for one day. Uh, all right, our problems are mounting. Thoughts? They mentioned a duke. Duke Robert, I think? It seemed like they used to hold this man in great esteem. I say this is an opportunity. The ancestries of House Lauren required our attention one way or another, correct? Perhaps an investigation is in order. That makes sense. Yeah. If learning about this man would open a way to placate the unity, I don't see why not. And? And I would like you to look into it. And, uh, there's also that letter business we talked about. You can count on us! Lovely. Oh my! Uh... Okay... Here, your tasks will be... 